So let's get it done. Weekly replays. Weekly replays. Yeah, it's a replay. It's the hacks. Relax. Relax. So, he's actually mid-tiered. DD-wise, though, he has four destroyers, one one Fujin. But look at these. Look at all these Caesars. There's three Caesars in one game. Um, a couple of cruisers. <laughs> Yahagi, the Genova, the new Italian one, Nuremberg. Well, it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of cruisers. What is scroll zooming? So scroll zooming is basically using your scroll wheel to zoom in. It instead of using shift key. Um, it's very tough on the eyes because it's just the replay system. It's very tough on the eyes. So, um, it's kind of tough to watch him a little bit. All right, if Musashi can get his life together and focus, stop swinging around, we'll have a decent replay here. Looks like he's going to try to cut across. Um, then maybe down. I don't really know why. He's going to get good crossfire, though, so it's fine. So, low tiers is always a bit of a mess. Um, games can go one way very quickly. Um, this is where kind of everybody is new to the game and learning it. So you get a lot of very early kills. Luckily, this doesn't happen in high tier games where you will also lose ships uh, continuously for a long time. Um, but low tier games, you know, you can't expect the best play. It's where everyone's kind of learning. So you will tend to lose destroyers and ships pretty quickly. A lot of people just kind of push forward. And they're just having fun. But lots of broadsides. So basically what he did at the start of this game was kind of what everyone's doing. As you see, this team here went to the left. It's always to it's always to the outside. Um, it's always to the outside of the map. And people are trying not to sail broadside and keeping their guns on target. Um, so it's normally how just teams flow. So what he's trying to do is use what he assumes is going to happen, which is happening. As you see, it's basically a V formation. Is spawn here, spawn here. Everyone's going to the the bottom everyone's going to the top so what he's trying to do is then cut this off and get the broadsides which he's doing he hasn't been able to capitalize um that much on it yet but uh that's what he's basically trying to do so instead of going with the crowd um he's basically going against the grain uh, on this map though you have to be a little bit careful about going against the grain because you may be met with a sneaky destroyer going pcap also i would probably yeah he's pretty focused on that battleship reason being is Russian battleships uh, take citadels from broadsides pretty easily. So he's trying to maybe take care of that. But he needs to get a nice little kill here. Nice little salvo on that. It's not so much about killing the DDs. It's about helping your destroyers win the fight next time they fight against the said destroyer. They're down three ships already, which is kind of normal. I mean, they're going to lose this DD. And... It just seems like a bit of a cluster. But if they get rid of the Fujin, Fujin's the scariest um, scariest destroyer on the map. You can tell he probably plays a lot, didn't have last stand. And down it goes. So they pretty much traded one for one there. At this point, they kind of need to uptrade. Even takes incoming fire alert. Wow. Incoming fire alert on a battleship? I don't know what that's really going to tell you. He might have a cruiser captain on this. Oh, his team is getting wrecked. His team is getting wrecked. Five minutes in, they're down five... Four minutes in, sorry. They're down five ships. This is... Uh, this is kind of normal. He almost one-taps the Ahagi. One-taps the Ahagi. He needs to start getting some damage in on these cruisers. He has a couple ships that are kind of one-shottable um now this isn't scrolling renzer this is the, this is the actual replay so imagine scroll zooming with this kind of latency so this is him not this is even scrolling so that's why we try to avoid scroll zoomings so this might be a nice little one shot here nuremberg's known as exploding double Double, double citadels. It is low tiers. Happens all the time. So, something he can do here. One, 
finish off a couple of these cruisers. He is rotating over to this side, hoping that his team can probably just do that. They have a nice little spot here of... Honestly, I don't know if I'd even shoot the Nuremberg. I guess you kind of have to. I think maybe I would have gone for the... I think I would have used that salvo on the Pensacola. I really do. I think I would have used that salvo on the Pensacola. I mean, it's good to get the ships off the board. I mean, he's pretty lucky that... I'm trying to see what these destroyers are over here, so... He's going to have Jaguar and Fushin. I don't know what, what their life is. I wouldn't use the full salvo. I really wouldn't at this point. Oh, that Pensacola! That Pensacola! Look at how broadside it is. All right, well, he's going to give him plenty of chances to then then go in. Um, what he's basically done is he said, okay, oh, he might actually bait him into this. That's a really good torp if that hits. That's really good. Dodges those, which is nice. At this point, I probably don't focus the Pensacola. I think the Caesar is a, is a much bigger threat. I think that Pensacola is just chilling. I think that Pensacola um, is going to just be fairly easy. And I think the Caesar is probably probably a better player. Um, so I wouldn't worry about too much. Although, since that Caesar is kind of angled in, it's not that bad of a target. Right now, you just need kills. They are... Oh, the glass went right through B-cap, and he's not going to cap it. Upside is, is they they aren't really... We all saw that coming for multiple minutes. I mean, it was only a matter of time before that was going to happen. So he, what he's going to do is get on this cap. It's going to do what I call stopping the bleed. Which means right now their team is basically bleeding points. Luckily the glass turned around. He might not live, but he did turn around. Yeah, I was wondering when that was going to happen. He still has the, the Jaguar around him. It's in a really tough spot, though. It's in a really tough spot. Because he has this guy who's going to probably angle away, probably kill the glass. Scrolls, is he, that's not scroll zooming, holy. Oh, did he get caught out? Did. Well, not, not that bad. Slow turrets! He must have a cruiser captain on there. He has incoming fire alert, and I don't think... I don't think he has expert marksmanship. There's confed. So, really... The team on the other side is really kind of held on. So, this is actually kind of smart. He's going to use the Matsuki. To basically be a buffer between the other destroyer. Because he doesn't know where it is. So the Matsuki is going to outspot the Jaguar. And he needs to get some distance on this guy. I would probably rotate towards B-Cap. <clears throat> that uh, Laglass never got it. Ooh. Unlucky. Yeah, I'd probably do a hard right. He has to fight two of them. Wow. That's so brutal. I'm trying to figure out where. So he's blocking the line of sight. So that means that this destroyer is either behind this island, which he would have been spotted already, or he's literally um He's literally behind this island. So he's somewhere. My guess is probably over I don't know, he's not back there. My guess is probably over here. The enemy is about to win. Because the island was blocking him. They did flip that cap, though. They're still just hanging on. He was over there. Okay. I thought he'd be kind of closer to the Caesar. He's, he's off to the right. Yeah. So that is a guarantee you got to shoot that for sure. He's trying to get the, the DD. If the DD can shoot, 
and that's the way to go, but looks like this DD might know what he's doing. He has such an... Going against two, two Caesar salads is so brutal. All right. If he maybe, maybe knows what he's doing. Get him, dude. Got him. Nice. All right. Full life. They have a guap over there. They have an Omaha that's way in the back. The Omaha's actually playing it smart. At least that guy's relatively low. So <clears throat> he's going to take this guy on. So the, the approach I would probably do, curl around this. Curl around this and kind of use this island to block off maybe line of sight with that guy. He's got to prepare for not only this fight, but the next fight as well. This guy knows what he's doing. This guy probably has a ton of games in the Caesar. And what he could do right here is, since that guy's angling away, this Caesar, even if he gets a reset, which is really important, is taking down the low ship as he's sailing into that. Because he's going to be able to do some damage to him, the one in front of him, but uh, not as much as broadside. And he actually could bait him in. Because either the Caesar's going to pull out, this way and be useless or he's gonna get really aggressive and push in so him focusing on the other ship it might actually bait him into uh having to give him a big broadside I'm trying to see eight minutes left that should probably kill yeah nice 13k that's tough he's gonna go around okay this is gonna give him an advantage so the mutsuki can kind of curl up and hopefully put some damage into him. This Omaha, I would just be like, just live, man. Don't worry about anything. Just live. He has two more heals. And I do not know how much life those guys have. But you need to at this point. Oh, I would be. This is one thing I, I, I see a lot. Is um, I never like see much communication. I would be spamming to this guy. This destroyer to be capping this. There is no reason for this DD to be way down there. This destroyer should have capped this. I mean, he, he outspots everything, so. Wow, after all this, this guy's gonna give him the broadside, really? After all that, he's gonna give him the broadside? After all this good angling? After all that, shots in from the rush? From the Russian battleship? Those torps might hit. <laughs> The one-two punch? Did you turn him into the torps? Easy. Easy. Well done. Easy play. Alright, so he has... So primary target here is cruisers first. The play I'd probably do, guns on cruiser, ram the battleship. I think at this point in the game, it's a really good trade. Um, since he's slowing down a lot, and he's getting really screwed over by his teammate right now, this uh, this destroyer is, is playing extremely passive. I don't know how much life he has. Last I saw, he was like full, but... All right, here we go. Uh, I... As so like I, I I think like people talk about like oh no one listens uh, people listen a lot more than you think they will so that's obviously the easy target um, there's the crack of lacken he has this Mutsuki this Mutsuki seems like they kind of know what they're doing so you actually need to do damage though so with this ram unless he has, unless he has the flag on, I can't tell if he has the flag on or not okay. brawling situation. Yeah, a full life, that is tough. Again, it's low tier. You can't expect people to be like that good at the game. That's tough, though, to look back and see that uh, French destroyer full life. This is going to hurt. Russians do not take broadsides well. That is their weakness. That is their weakness, and no battleship takes torps well. So that's a smack right there. And he can basically push across, because it's, it's the Yahagi. I mean, what's the Yahagi going to do? Mm 
Like, what, what's the Yahagi gonna do in this situation? Like, the Yahagi has, an, has enough problems doing damage against AFK ships. You know? Like, what's he gonna do against an actual battleship that knows how to aim? Would the Yahagi blat for 20k? I don't know. My guess would be... N oh, if uh, I think that's the only one. So it might be. That's surprised he's still alive then. Because he double sit him. But yeah, so... Uh, what he basically did, so again, some things to learn is is knowing kind of the flow. And this is something you'll learn over time. And he's shooting! Well, that's a GG right here, then. That's a GG right there, folks. We'll send it in. We'll send it in, Haunt. Let's watch it. Oh, yeah! Boom. Right there, chat. Six kills! Ten Citadels. I mean, it's Caesar low tier, but still. So, things that we kind of learned was, um, and this is you'll get over time, is normal teams... Um, in most game modes, standard battle, obviously, um, is a bit weird, but that was domination, so the three caps. Maps are kind of played the same way. Teams tend to go... Yeah, I know it is the old logo. Uh, teams tend to go the same way every game, right? Sp if teams are in this spawn, they're going to go to that this direction. So what did he do at the start, which is really, really smart, is he countered that first direction. Um, you'll see me do uh, you'll see me do that a lot in rank battles. It's not so much about me trying to get spots, is I'm trying to get spots on the things that's spotting. So he, he was basically doing that. He was as the as the team was pushing away or the enemy team was pushing into the corner, he was basically pushing to kind of match it. And so he get broadsides on stuff that was trying to push that way, as well as getting centralized. In a lot of battleships, um, I'll try to do that, is play more central to the map. Because if you're so far out, imagine how long it would have taken him to switch over and push that way if he would have just flowed with the whole team. So what a lot of people do is they tend to get pushed out to the 1 and 10 lines. The downside is, is if you win that fight at the 1, in, 1 or 10 line, it takes you a long time to reposition and and continue and help the fight on the other side. So the, the 1 line wins, but the 10 line's losing. It's going to take you a long time to get from 1 to 10. Um, what he basically did is he went centralized, so he was at five, so he was able to help out the one side and then also assist on a push on the ten side, which then ended up flipping the game. Um, he had a couple of good salvos on stuff, which made them push back. Um, but yeah, positioning early can make a big deal late game, and that's basically what he did with that. So good push. He pushed through. Um, his teammates could help him out a little bit more to not make it as close, but he ended up pushing through and 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 got the win. GGs.